Hello and welcome to this course on my own programming language MC Script. In this section, we'll take a deeper look at the structure of our generated project and also how we can add new files and actually generate files with MC Script. In the last section, we set up our environment and already generated a first project. It's also a data pack, so it has the data folder inside of it. And this custom namespace here is also the same with normal data packs. And that is another folder inside our data folder. Here we have the function folder. And for MC script, we also have a scripts folder. In the functions folder are obviously the MC function files that get actually loaded into Minecraft. And in the scripts files are our new MC script files, which actually generate our MC function files. So ideally we just added the MC script files. So here I have my PowerShell again, and we are again in our data pack. And here I can just do MC script compile, and it will compile our entire project. What we can also do is say new file right here and name it test.mc script. So this is also in the test folder right now. And here we can also say log hello and it should compile now four files with our test.mc function. And the test.mc function is not loaded into the functions folder because it was not found in the scripts folder. Everything that is in the scripts folder gets compiled in the functions folder but everything else is just moved in the same location. And here in the MC functions file, we can now see from where it got compiled from our test.mc script to our MC function. And we see also our tail raw command again for the console. It could also be the case that you want just one file to compile. And you can also do that by putting in the path to a single MC script file or folder and it just just read one file. But we will work with our project and I will delete these files again. In our main.mc function we can see this annotation right here. So it is hashtag file column dot main and this just says MC script I I want to compile the content of this MC script file here into the same location. It is not scripts in this case, but functions. And I want to call this new file main. And exactly that is done. There is this new main.mc function created in the functions folder. Of course, you can also leave this part out and MC script will also automatically get the original file name from the MC script file. Just take the main part in this case and transfer it to an MC function. And if we were to delete this main.mc function and save it here, the main.mc function is still created. So in this case, this is optional, but it is as always recommended. So let's create a new scripts file here. I'll just name it files.mc script and I can say file column and then the path to our new MC function file. This means all, always in the same folder. This means one file above our folder. So in our case, this would be this test folder. And we can also insert a new folder here. Let's call it files and also main inside this files. Now, if we compile it, we can see this new main.mc function is created inside a new folder called files. And we can also see that in Visual Studio Code, there's this new file folder here. We also noticed this MC script folder inside of here and that is just used by MC script internally to load a few components later on. And in our loaded MC function, this is automatically added the MC script load right here. And we also configured our load.mc function and main.mc function as the load and the tick functions. So this main runs 20 times a second each tick and this here on the initial load. But back to our files, we can just insert a command here, say, hey, 
every command is announced with a slash a bit different to the mc functions files you can also use run column that does the same but slash is obviously faster so what we also can do since i don't want to run mc script compile each time we can just say mc script watch and now we can see the program does not exit and it says now watch your files on this path to change and now if we change this file here and hit Control s to save it we can see in our powershell it automatically ran the command mscript compile and generated all our mc function files so we don't have to worry about our compilation so in our files.mc script we can also say we can also insert a new file we'll also put it into the files directory and name it second and say second we can see a new file second.mc function where it says second so why am i telling you this well you can define multiple files inside one mc script file and you can just generate them but let's imagine you have multiple files here and at some time you notice wait a moment i'm in the second file but i want to add actually something into the main function again well you can just do this file again and copy everything what it, what's already in there and say hello to but this is not the right way to do it mc script also covers that we can just say extend and that will just add everything below here at the back of our main file we can save it and take a look at our files main and then we can see say hello and also this annotation extended from files.mc script to main.mc function with say hello to so now i want to show you a, a feature that is very handy with the file generation and that is the generative for loop the generative for loop is not just for file generation but for generation in general and it's called and i called it generative because it is run when you compile it so it just generates the mc function code and not a for loop inside of minecraft the syntax is relatively simple you just say for then we have some brackets and inside of that two numbers from and to and that just defines the range of of our counter and we can also optionally put in a name for our counter variable which we can then use with this dollar sign and the brackets again this might be a bit confusing right now we'll see it in action so we saw it was defined with a four then some brackets and then a minimum value say one and a maximum value five it will just go for each value between one and five and will insert this bit right here into our code so we can say say value and we can see it is inserted five times here because we want it to go from one to two to three to four to five that's five times we can also insert our current value in here with the dollar sign and the brackets by default this value is called i for index and we can see in the main.mc function there's value one to value five we can also define our custom name here let's name it counter and now if you compile it it just says dollar sign i so we ha also have to change our counter variable inside of here and we get also the same result so why is this such powerful in combination with our file syntax well we can also say file in here and here we can also insert our value change it back to i and remove the counter here and then we can say say hey what this will do for us now is it will generate five files with the name one to five each with the content say hey and there we have it there are five mc function files in our mc script file we can just change one thing here and it is changed in all our generated files and we can also say i want to have 500 files that's also totally possible and now we have 500 files with this bit of code 
but certainly I don't want 500 files so I will just delete this folder here and change it back to 5. We have our 5 files again. So now we already dug a bit deeper into the file syntax. By the way in Visual Studio Code we have also the snippets enabled. It will suggest you what you could want and it will give you simple documentation from two variable name. You can just say tab, insert your first value, press tab again, insert your second value and insert your command, whatever. So this is also pretty handy. Now I want to show you an alternative way for this file syntax because if you have many files this is really annoying because you have to extend it again. So let's say I want to have here another file. Well that is not that simple. Well you can do that but this hello will now be in this function file and not in the main file. So therefore we have the function annotation and this just generates a new function but without without this annoying syntax with a clear restriction. So we have this opening bracket and this closing bracket and everything else is not included in this function. You can also set the run keyword in front of it and it will automatically run the function, analyze your project and get the namespace for your data pack and directly insert it. So let's take a look at that. We can just say function and then our path, this will be files function and then these brackets again. And in here we can say this is the function and here we can say this is the main. So what I expect is that this content right here is inserted in the, into the main file and this content in brackets here is inserted in the function file. What I forgot, if you want to insert a path here, you have to set it into these quotations. And now there is a brand new function.mc function here. And it says this is the function. And in the main function it says this is the main. But you can also leave these quotations. You just name it function file for example. But what if we want to run this function directly from within the main function? Then we can just say run function and in our main.mc function we can see this new function and it automatically analyzed our project and extracted our data pack ID or the namespace and the path of the function. So now inside Minecraft we can run the function test files slash main and we can see this is the function and this is the main. Of course the function is called before the this is main. So I hope this section gave you a insight into the file generation in general and it helps your workflow. Especially for boss bars where you need uh, several of them. This forward syntax is also pretty helpful and we will dig deeper into these custom functionalities of MC script in the next episode. If you like this course, I would be very happy if you show it with a like. I hope we will see us in the next video. Goodbye.